Yeah, it is seen. Yeah, clear. Chat, where is the chat? Okay. Okay. Well, Raghuram is very, uh, very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think um, uh, the majority answers are right. It is, I'll show the answers. Okay. So that is grade one. Parasagittal. Uh, I mean, sagittal I accept. The parasagittal is appropriate and the prognosis is generally good. And still there's a risk of in day, based on which study you take, but uh, usually some low risk of neurodevelopmental disability is accepted. We can't say no risk though. So we can't say no risk. So I will move on. Okay. Uh, let me see some more chats if any controversies. Well, it's not thalamic bleed. I disagree. Okay. Yeah. Majority answer. IVH is okay, but I think we should grade it. It usually started in the general matrix and it spread. And there are, you know, now two well-established classification. I won't go in detail in the view of time. Go and read our yourself, the limitation of those types of classification. Mm -hmm. Second question, second ASCII. And uh, I don't know why I got this here. Okay. Can you guys see? So you need to label which hemorrhage it is and uh, which one is the more dangerous uh, among the A, B, C and mention one distinguished pressure. The last one is more descriptive, but that's okay. Let's see what you say. Uh, chat, let me see. Okay. Okay, a cephalohematoma. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay. 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 So that means we need to know the little bit of scalp anatomy here. And uh, what is the answer to the question two? Everybody is writing A, B, C. Question two answer. Carefully see the image. So one is above of everything and one is subperiosteal, one is subepicranial aponeurosis. Yeah, okay. I think the answers are coming. I wouldn't expect everybody to write so quickly about everything. So it is very important to differentiate these because it's got a significant clinical value because subgalial can kill you. Okay. So those, so A is, if you see the cephalohematoma, subperiosteal, uh, okay. B is caput, okay. And this one is subgalial. So if you closely see, okay. And that's what it is, yeah. This is epi, see, this is a white line here. You might not see that is the subperiosteum, okay. Okay. And this is freely moving. Crossing the suture line as well, okay, and subgalial is similar, okay, and these are the differentiation. I'm not going to read, and uh, so you, some of you mentioned vaguely distributed caput capsidum and can um, uh, all over the sutures. Cephalohematoma is limited by sutures and clearly demarcated, whereas subgalial is freely moving, can extend anywhere to anywhere. To be honest. And I'm, it increases with your coagulopathy. On the top of that, the increasing hemorrhage into itself can also precipitate coagulopathy. Very dangerous. Okay. La last, uh, sorry, third one, uh, you have a, a video. What for it? Ignore the noise. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, that is the video. Okay, I'll give one more minute to come more responses. Okay, okay, keep coming, keep coming. I know there are multiple answers. Okay. Okay, I think you are getting ready. I think the clues are a bit clear here. Okay. Okay, I'll show you the answers. I think you are getting ready. I think majority are you are ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So here are the answers. So okay, multifocal clonic, not just clonic. Multifocal clonic seizures, hypocalcemia, IV calcium. The key things is cardiac monitoring, as rightly said, eye in the line patency. We have seen the worst extravasations, which can trigger a lot of difficulties and also impact the care of the baby badly, can increase the morbidity, of course, even mortality at times. Okay. The fourth one. <clears throat> I'll... Let me see what is coming up. Okay. 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 Got. Correct. Correct. But there are three questions there. <clears throat> How does it work? Again, your answer has to be specific in the ask keys. You, you can write related, but unless you write the specific answer, you don't get the marks if I understand correctly. Uh, Dr. Sriram, Naveen sir, or Swapna can correct me. Yeah, okay, okay, you're getting it right. Okay, let me, but advantage, disadvantage, I don't see. But anyway, I'll show you. Okay, therapeutic hypothermia by miracle. Okay, use of phase changing material uh, to maintain the desired temperature. Okay. And again, I'm not going to details in view of time. Advantage is cheaper, it is portable. Disadvantage is not as good as, it is good, but not as good as uh, with the servo control, okay? The last but not least, so here is the algorithm of NRP, okay? You are asked to attend the emergency LSCS of primary gravida, who was admitted to labor ward with meconium strain like a 38 weeks. As per the recent guidelines, what do you do at the various stages which I mentioned there. Let me see what things are coming up for the chat. Looks like everybody is tired by this time. Okay, okay. A4 question G. Four questions, okay. Well, I'm just I'm just showing you the algorithm of the NRP. Okay. Mm. Well, mm. see, you need to be familiarized. Yeah, some of the answers are correct. You need to familiarize NRP algorithm. Um, by heart, you don't have a choice. You can use as a cognitive aid when you go for deliveries, but uh, learning is the, having something in your phone or in your labor ward is not a substitute for your learning. You we need to understand each and every step of this. Okay, I think that some of the answers are right. I'll show you in view of time. Okay. Okay, so antenatal counseling, team briefing, equipment check and the baby is born, then you warm slight change from the NRP 7th edition, warm, dry, stimulate, position the airway, and suction if needed. Okay, this is the one. Okay. And what do you monitor? If the baby is not with heart rate and breathing. Okay. And you need to finish until this. That is one minute, which is golden minute. So I'm going to stop it there. Uh, I'm going to thank you team IAP uh, new chap giving the opportunity and thank you Naveen sir and thank you um, Shira. I am going to stop share. I'm trying to find out how to show. Did I stop? No.
No, that's okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm... Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Vidyanand, for a very nice pictorial uh, piece. Very informative.